Howdy folks, it's Night J from Night J's Tabletop Gaming, and this video shows where I paint the USS Missouri model from Warlord Games' Victory at Sea. This 1 1800th scale resin and metal model uh, was a pleasure to put together, as you saw in the previous video, and in this video you see me putting paint to the model. So, climb aboard and let's set sail. As part of the prep process for uh, working with uh, these models, uh, one thing that you'll note is uh, since they are resin, they're going to have a little bit of a lip here. Uh, I kind of want to smooth that out a little. Uh, so I've got some 220 grit sandpaper I picked up at uh, Walmart, and um, we're just going to lightly sand the bottom here. Um, see if we can get it to smooth out a little. Doesn't take much to knock those edges off, uh, so be careful uh, when you're doing this. Uh, this might not be the most convenient way of doing it, but of course this is the way I got to do it to you know show y'all what's happening. Um, you could also uh, get a, a block of wood uh, and wrap this around and then you know go at it like this uh, if you wanted to. Um, but for demonstration purposes this should suffice. Uh, it won't take long. As you can see, it doesn't take long to, to smooth down a little. So you can see where uh, it's already sanded down to the bare there, the bare bottom there. One of the things you want to be careful of when you are working with uh, resin models is when you do sand, it does kick up a lot of uh, very fine dust particles that uh, can be pretty nasty if you breathe them in. So be careful with that. Uh, if you want, you know, wear a dust mask that you can get from Walmart or uh, from uh, any of the hardware stores locally. Uh, so, you know, be prepared for that. Also, be prepared for some cleanup. Uh, use a wet paper towel or a wet rag to uh, get up all that dust so as not to uh, contaminate the, the painting area uh, once you're done with the sanding. Once I finished sanding the bottom uh, to flatten it out, uh, I did wash the uh, model in uh, some warm water. I then, you know, let it dry and make sure all the water was off of it. Uh, and then proceeded to do a, a hand prime using the Vallejo uh, surface primer in black. Um, I'll show a bottle here of what it looks like uh, at the beginning of the next little segment. But uh, it goes on pretty smoothly. You don't have to worry about uh, watering it down or uh, doing anything special. Just, you know, lay it on there pretty good. Uh, it, it looks like it's going to uh, block out or... Uh, really wipe out a lot of the detail but this stuff dry when it dries it tightens down really good and uh, does a great job of uh, giving a uh, good base for that paint to go on so uh, it, it's it's really good for winter time when it's cold and it's wet outside and you know that your spray rattle cans aren't going to do real good so it's nice to have some of this on hand uh, black and some white uh, you can also use Gesso. Uh, you can pick that up at uh, any art supply store, even at, at Walmart. Uh, make sure you get the stuff that's certified non-toxic uh, so you don't have to take any special precautions. Uh, but this is a great way of being able to get your models primed when it's too humid or it's too cold or it's too, you know, just too whatever because rattle cans can be a little, a little difficult to work with. We now have a primed ship that's ready for painting. Uh, as y'all saw, I was uh, using the Vallejo Surface Primer in black. Uh, works pretty good, as you can see. Got uh, pretty good coverage overall. Um, this will really uh, allow me to go ahead and uh, get to work on it. The colors that this ship use are black, you can see here on the sides 
then it also uses a ocean gray and a sea gray and then the, of course the deck blue little history about uh, USS Missouri BB-63 she of course is an Iowa class battleship and third uh, ship to be named after the state of Missouri uh, she was the last battleship commissioned by the United States but uh, as we've said before is probably the most uh, famous of uh, all of the ships of the United States Navy during World War II uh, even more so than uh, the Hornet or uh, the Enterprise uh, which were aircraft carriers definitely um, fought through the war as a, a well-known vessel and of course the uh, treaty uh, peace treaty was signed by the Japanese on the decks of the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay uh, she was ordered in 1940 uh, along with her sister ships and was commissioned in June of 1944 uh, she was painted in the camouflage pattern that uh, I'm painting on now uh, from the time she was commissioned until she uh, was moved to uh, the uh, Pacific Theater where she received a different paint job. Uh, she received a total of 11 battle stars uh, through World War II Korea and the Persian Gulf. Uh, she did uh, spend uh, time off of the shores of Kuwait in 1991 launching uh, her Tomahawk missiles. Uh, she did not fight during Vietnam as her sister ships Wisconsin and New Jersey did, uh, but uh, had been updated along with them uh, at that time. She was finally decommissioned in 1992 after serving a total of 17 years of active service. Uh, and then in 1995 she was struck from the Naval Registry, and in 1998 she became the uh, USS Missouri Memorial uh, in Pearl Harbor, uh, right uh, next to USS Arizona. Probably the other uh, fam most famous of uh, ships of World War II f uh, from the United States Navy. Some other pieces of information about uh, USS Missouri is she was ordered in uh, 1940, as I said, June of that year, uh, built in the Brooklyn Navy Yard in Brooklyn, New York, Laid down in January of 1941 and launched three years later in 1944. Uh, sponsored by Margaret Truman, the only daughter of Harry S. Truman. And was commissioned in June of uh, 1944. Not only did she serve the last uh, year and a couple months of World War II, she also spent time uh, in uh, the Korean War and finally being decommissioned in February of 1955. She was brought back uh, to strength and with updates in May of 1986 and then finally decommissioned again in 1992. Uh, she was finally stricken from the uh, Navy books in 1995. Her motto is Strength for Freedom. Nickname of course is Mighty Mo and she is a museum ship in Pearl Harbor, uh, as stated. Her displacement was a full load 57,540 tons. Uh, that's a heavy ship. Not the, not the biggest ship, of course, during World War II. Um, I believe that is either going to fall with uh, USS Midway class ships, uh, the Coral Sea, the Truman, etc., or the Amatos. Uh, I believe the Amato and the Musashi might have uh, the Coral Sea class carriers beaten uh, with uh, 80 plus thousand tons. So big ship. She was 887 feet 3 inches long. She had a beam of 108 feet 2 inches and she carried a draft of 36 feet 2 and a quarter inches. Uh, so definitely needed a deep water port to get her in and out. She get up to 32 and a half knots and had a range of 15,000 nautical miles uh, when she cruised at 15 knots. She had a complement of 117 officers and 1,804 enlisted men, 9 16-inch guns, 25-inch uh, guns, 
and she had a plethora of anti-aircraft guns uh, with uh, 80 40 millimeter uh, guns and uh, 49 20 millimeter guns and was pretty well armored she had a belt armor of 12.1 inches her turrets were uh, had a uh, armor front of 19.7 inches decks were six inches pattern used on USS Missouri BB-63 at the time of its, of its commissioning was known as Camouflage Design 22D uh, and it was originally designed for uh, different destroyers and a couple of different cruisers. Uh, Measure 33 is the set of colors that it used. Again, as I said earlier, it was a uh, black with an ocean gray and light gray on all of the sides. And then the horizontal surfaces were a mixture of deck blue and ocean gray. Uh, really a striking uh, pattern, if you ask me. Uh, very distinct. Uh, looked really good on the ship. Uh, and is, is kind of fun to paint. Now, it, my paint job is not exact. It's, it's not, you know, a perfect example of what the ship actually looked like. But uh, I think it's close enough. You know, it's, it's a model. It's, it's a game piece. So... I think I did a pretty good job on it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to paint. Uh, probably one of the most intricate uh, paint schemes I've put on a ship before. Um, I have painted the Missouri in uh, 12400 scale in the same scheme. Uh, so I, I felt confident that I was going to be able to get this one done as well. So uh, as you can see here, uh, I'm putting the... Uh, the first stages of the water, I'm just using a, a standard blue uh, as the base coat. So uh, that's, you know, going to get us uh, started. And then, of course, I dry brush uh, a light blue uh, and then a white on top of that to finish it out. I have to say that this was a fun ship to uh, build and paint. Uh, always a pleasure to... Uh, work back with my first true love in gaming which is World War II Naval. Uh, so here she is in her completed state uh, fully painted and ready to go on the game board. Uh, might have uh, some gaming with her in the near future once I get some more of these ships painted. Definitely be on the lookout for more of my uh, build and paint videos of other ships. So until next time We'll see you on the flip side.